One of the most common flaws of young hitters is dropping their hands before swinging. This bad habit comes from physically weak players overstriding or lunging at the ball. It may help to find out if the lazy hands are related to the batter's stride by having them take a few swings on their back knee to see if the hands still drop. Whatever the cause, lazy hands leads to poor hitting fundamentals. When a batter's hands drop initially, it throws off the coordination of the upper and lower body. Additionally, the dropping of the hands leads to a longer elbow and arm swing, which makes it difficult to square the ball up, especially on high pitches. One of the keys to hitting is the ability to swing the bat from the correct position, which promotes a compact swing by putting the bat on the correct path to any pitch. Quick, explosive hands are essential for hitting success. Of course, coaches can keep yelling for players to keep their hands up, but muscle memory changes rarely happen with words. This hitting drill makes for a quick change of habits, or at least makes the point to young hitters who often do not feel what they are doing wrong. For this drill, coaches set a batting tee letter high directly under the player's hands. Any lowering of the hands leads to knocking the tee over in a weak swing that only stays on one swing path. Especially common is dropping the hands on low pitches, so it is best to begin this drill with low pitches as seen here. The initial moves of the swing should come from the circle location, and this drill helps generate and coordinate those body parts. Players not only learn to keep their hands up, this drill activates the initial pulling action of the lower hand. As players learn this initial pull to the inside back of the ball, the dropping hands problem disappears. Once players get a feel of this drill and stop knocking the back tee over, Coaches can use the drill with drop balls, flip balls, and regular batting practice. In time, hitters begin to keep their hands up and back in the correct shoulder high and back location. Hope to see you over at www.baseballcoachingtips.net for more great coaching information and videos.